Yo, 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 everybody. Janik B here, and welcome to a brand new mini series, possibly a mini series. Um, this is Hand of Fate. Uh, it's a relatively new game available on Steam. Um, it, this game is very cool. It has a very cool mechanic to it. Can't wait to show you. I'm not going to try to explain it. I'm just going to show you. But I have two things, <clears throat> two things to ask of you. One is, uh, it may seem kind of boring in the first five minutes. Don't worry, it gets real cool real quick, all right? So just hang tight on that. The second one is, um, I plan on doing this series for maybe like a week. It's like a, a hermit week, hand of fate, right? Um, if you guys really enjoy it, be sure and hit the like button. Like, it would be awesome if we got like 5,000 likes on this. So I really know that you guys are interested in it and you want me to keep going. At the end of the week, we'll look at it and we'll see if this is something that has a good enough response that I'll continue on. If not, we'll kill it and do something else. Sound cool? Okay, so I'm gonna hit it right now. Ah, one more for the game. Come, sit. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, we're gonna go through like a real quick kind of tutorial type thing, but it's really cool, so... The game begins. One lives and one dies. Oh, oh. Let us see what you are made of. Alright. Here is the first member of my court. The Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Uh huh. Okay, the bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, uh, making powerful, unblockable attacks. Okay, so let's hit it. So this is like it's a card game, but it has a really interesting twist. And trust me, it's not all Let just the cards. Card game. Fall where they may. I right. begin. So you see that little icon right there? It's got my my little statue. That's me. These little things, the cards, that's the paths I have to take. So just kind of like a dungeon, you know, a dungeon game where you got to go from room to room. Hey, spider, get out of my way. So we choose the next card. That oh. first moment, that glinting weapon, the call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. Oh. So, we go to the Twisted Canyon. We see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Okay. Uh, climb down to retrieve it. Yes, of course. And then we have a three out of four chance of being successful at it. Choose from these options. I'm going for number one. Yes. Ooh, I almost did two. Climb down to retrieve the weapon very carefully. You make your way to the bottom of the canyon. And we draw a weapon card, so now there's different cards for weapons. Ha ha! An axe. So press the X button to swing your axe. And then, uh, right now we have a rusty axe, so this is better. Do we want to equip it? Yes, we do. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. Alright, and so, again, like I'm saying, this seems boring. There's more to this, so we just had to get through this first little part, okay? I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Mm hmm So, oh, okay, yeah, have today. <laughs> Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel Richie. <laughs> Hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Give me what I need, boy. I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. So, 
Um, we can even e either give him bread from our plate. Um, let's ask him what he needs. Need? I need to help you. Uh-huh. He taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Boom, and we got a shield. Sweet. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. All right, so we got X. I'm using the Xbox controller on the PC. So uh, so the X is a kill, is to swing my ax, and a Y is to uh, do a little bit of reflection and counter. Uh-huh. And yes, you can I now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. I will indeed. All right, next card. The Maiden. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. Mm hmm. So, one day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Meredith of the forest folk. <laughs> My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Uh, okay, so I get asked for a longer life, ask for supplies, or ask for gold. I have no gold, so gold would be good. Merith seems surprised. It is unlike an adventurer to beg for coin, but very well, if that is your wish. And the dealer draws you three gold game cards. So we got 25 gold. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I am. 15 gold. And 25 gold. Okay. Not too shabby. Um, the greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have only limited uses before the power is spent. Use them wisely and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Okay. <laughs> and then, boom. And now we're at the end. Every step you take consumes food, but yeah. you will also heal as you proceed. Gotcha. All right. So now we take the stairs and we embark. So far, very lame. I know. Are you still with Your me? Your journey is well begun. I hope so. Because... This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Uh -huh. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. No, oh, it won't be. Trust me. Because watch this business. Ambush! What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? Uh-huh. A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Grave banger. <laughs> all the Ds look like Bs to me. Draw one monster card. So a three of dust. Now check this out. Watch this. This is the cool part. Uh-huh. What is this? Ambush. Goes down. Look at that. Got my shield. Got my axe. Got some gold. And boom. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. And we got a three of dust, so all this is like random card business, right? And see? Yep. Oh. Yep. And whenever you see something like that, you can hold down the... You can hold down the Y button. Oh, did I do it? I hope so. Did I get him? Oh no, you ain't dead. Oh, big is so what? Wiped out right now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. take that, Wolverine. How about that? How about that business? While ser searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be be dead. Bed. Sneak up and kill him. Okay. Uh huh. So we have a three out of four chance. Do do hit it. Yes. Dealer draws you three gain cards. So we got something from the armory. A sword. Very the most cool. Most fundamental symbol of might for an age. Um. So press X button to strike enemies. I already have an axe. So I think I'm gonna say no. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Well, I think so. And supplies, we've gained some food. This is very good. Every card that we take, so right now we're at 11. Once I go to the next one, it goes down to 10. Aha! Shop. 
In, oh, in a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventures. adventurers. Approach the shop. Check this out. This is really cool. Watch this. There's the card. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. Yeah. The back and forth between resources and rewards. How crazy, right? So we can buy food. We, we seem to have a good amount of food right now. Um, we can sell some items. So I probably don't need that sword. So I'll sell it, even though it's great only men three wield bucks. Great swords. Swords of myth and legend. For you, this will suffice. Okay, so we have that. A healing cap. Uh, any healing the player receives is is bubbled. <laughs> is bubbled. <laughs> um... Damocles? Damocles? During combat, press right bumper to throw knives in eight cardinal directions. Um, that seems alright. Let's buy that. You get nine of them? Oh. Hmm. We'll try it. We'll check it out. A classical approach to dealing with crowds. Artifacts right. provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. Uh-huh, okay. Hey, so we got everything we need, I believe. Yes, I want to leave the shop. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we go on to our next one. A winding trail. An ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Attack the cowardly... Uh, Oh wait, what's this say? Oh yeah, weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielder's face obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Um, we will attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten us. Of course we will. The battle begins. Watch it be like some kind of major badass guys. Look, there's my armor. There's my shield. There's my axe. It's so cool, man. There's some gold I got. And... Uh, okay, and then we can use the artifact. But I'm not going to use it right now. Yo! Oh, man! Oh, man! Yeah, yeah! Oh, oh! Oh, I took him down. Oh, kick right in the gut. Look at me. Very good at this video game. Uh-huh, that's right. You search the bodies for loot. Three game cards. Let's see what we got. Some armory. Okay, got a shield. A strong left arm is as important as a strong right arm. Which is, all. we already have it. Supplies. Love it. And more supplies. All right. So now, we go to the Jack of Dust. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Okay, the bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful and block. Okay, and we know about this. All right. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Whoa. So it's like a deck building game. That, okay. We don't know what those cards are. Dude, how cool. Okay, four of dust. Oh, there's four of them. Ow, pecker. And the jack. Jack of dust. Okay, now it's Some on. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Oh, I did it. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter. Oh, no, don't run, run out of the way. Uh -huh. Why am I? No, no, run. Okay. Yep. Oh, no, run. Run. I'm trying to kill all these guys before, uh, before I go for... Uh, oh, man. Oh, got ruined. Go, go, go. Oh, 
man, he took me down. Hiya, hiya, hiya. What? Oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We did it. Paul, we did it. Paul. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's cool. What is this thing? Oh, we got the Jack of Dust. Killed him and got his card. Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. Oh, that's cool. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet, we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. Yeah, huh? You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. What reward? As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Huh. All right. So, let's see. We activate. We got three token things. As a reward for defeating the bandit Jack, you receive these new cards. So we get Jack of Skulls, Dead King's Hall, Local Peasant, Devil's Choice, River and the Captain of the Guards. Oh man. Okay, so I think the top, the Jack of Skulls and Captain of the Guards are probably uh, dudes we can fight, I think. We shall see. And as a reward, we get these cards Medium Armor. Oh yeah. Chains of Rage. Mercenary Contract. Me another Medium Armor. Fortitude's Breath, that looks like a really sick looking shield. And Desperate Measures, a cool looking mace. Okay, all right. And then what else we got, baby? Uh-huh, new challenges. Bandit Attack, Maze of Traps, and Goblins. And then the game is over. Deal again. And we can play again. Crazy, right? So crazy, all right. That's going to be it for me, just for this first episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, for real, uh, leave a like on this series. Leaving a like, I know I ask that all the time, um, but it really does help me out a lot. It helps uh, helps in the search rankings and stuff for YouTube, so uh, new viewers who are looking for someone who does games like these actually will find me in the search results, and that's the reason I ask for it. So if we can hit 5,000 likes on this, I think that would be amazing. Uh, really appreciate your support and until next time take care brush your hair I'll see you when I see you Peace.